Leeds Southwestern Morley is a new seat built around a constituency which has been conservative since Ed Balls lost it in 2015. It sits in a region bursting with marginals. To find out what's driving voters in this election, we did what the political parties do relentlessly and conducted some focus groups, chaired by James Johnson, who used to do this for Theresa May. All of these voters backed Boris Johnson and the Tories at the last general election. You all voted Conservative in 2019. Who's planning on voting Conservative on July the 4th? All of you voted Conservative in 2019, in that general election. Who is planning to vote Conservative on July 4th? We asked these former Tory voters to write down in a few words how they now view the Conservative Party they voted for last time round. Self-centred. No <laughs> trust. For the upper class. So what's the moment for you that you went off the Conservatives? For me it was Covid with the PPE contracts and things like that. We were in a time of absolute desperation and yeah. they just handed money out to the mates. Mm -hmm. I think the work during, during COVID, I think it was a constant rule breaking. They're just breaking the rules constantly for themselves, having parties, drinking beers and that kind of thing. Less trust <sighs> coming in. Yeah. Where's Anne Rishi? Yeah, I thought that she was an absolute disgrace. Mm. I think it was just the fact that they've completely lost control of the economy. The Tories, having studied their own focus groups, hoped they'd devised a campaign to pull back voters like these. Our focus groups suggest the last few weeks have had the opposite effect. D-Day like uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I've ever seen a politician do. How did that make you feel? I was just, I was, to be honest, I was fuming. Um, that's his own fault, uh, not the itinerary. Him as a person, that's his fault. How did it make you feel? It's just disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. the representative of, of the country. Of the country. <laughs> Asked for a phrase that conveys their current view of Rishi Sunak, both groups of ex-Tory voters are negative and unimpressed by the Prime Minister's attempts to connect. When he raised the thing about Sky TV, he didn't have Sky TV yeah. when he was a child. Did any of us? Probably not. Have... Growing up as a child, he didn't have Sky. I'm sorry, but what a foolish thing to say. And that's probably where my false comes in. It's like he's yes. saying what he thinks. Like, I don't that infuriated yeah, me, like, though. Like he's then siding like with... Yeah, the general public, but then you just see straight through it. Yeah. It's trying to come across as normal. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's where the yeah. falseness comes in. Yeah. So where are our panel of voters from Leeds Southwest and Morley drifting to now they've all abandoned the Tories and Rishi Sunak? I genuinely feel that Britain is broken. The party leader who decided to rejoin British anymore. politics three weeks ago has caught the eye of some. Who's planning to vote Reform UK on July the 4th? I think that he's got some reasonable ideas that he's put into the mix at the last minute. He is misunderstood because I think everybody's like, you're racist, you're racist, you're yeah. racist. But when you listen to him, he says the same yeah. thing as I was saying. Though Nigel Farage picks up some votes here, the vast bulk is heading Labour's way. Who's considering voting Labour on July 4th? What comes into your mind when you hear those words? Keir Starmer. Uh, uninspiring. Rambles. <laughs> Irritating. I put wishy-washy. That's not necessarily a criticism. I think perhaps that's what we need. Um, we don't need a big personality. We don't need a Donald Trump in charge of our country and he might be the right guy. We asked our focus groups to imagine what the headlines might be one year into a Keir Starmer premiership. I've got Britain's karma under Starmer. I am still uncovering the mess. Rainer steps in. Cot Starmer. Kia blames NHS collapse on Sunak. Who here is kind of thinking about voting for the Conservatives? Five years ago, we focus grouped ex Labour voters who'd backed Leave, and they all had switched to Boris Johnson. How deep are the allegiances of these ex Tories, many moving towards Labour? Put your hands up if you're voting Labour because it's a positive vote for Labour. Put your hands up if you're voting Labour because it's a vote against the Conservatives. I, I totally agree with when you've put no real policies and, and I just, I think I'm 
I'm edging to that. Not they, They've not won me. The Tories have just lost me. Historically, I was a Labour voter and I was swayed by Cameron and swayed by Boris and I voted for those two. But what we're getting right now is just dreadful. So there's absolutely no chance at the minute that I would vote Tory again. Yeah, I agree. I, I can't say I would never ever vote for Conservative again because at the end of the day, if, you know, if Labour make a mess, um, then Conservative, come, like you say, become a united party and come up with some good policies then in time I may vote for them again. I think it will be quite a while. I won't rule out voting for any party. One polling expert has suggested we may be in an era when voters' looser party ties are creating huge but short-lived voter coalitions resembling sandcastles. Keir Starmer's potential coalition of supporters in our focus group look committed for next Thursday, but maybe not far beyond. Gary Gibbon there, and on the screen now, a list of all the candidates standing in the Leeds South West and Morley constituency.